Stay tuned because in this video I'm going to show you how to change your Mark III instrument cluster LCDs from this into this. So to reverse your LCD screens in your Mark III cluster, you're going to need to get your cluster down to this point where the faces are off of the circuit board. I'm not going to go through all that in this video. If you go to my video on how to change the um, filters from green to another color, I'll put a link uh, right up here in the corner to that video. That'll show you the instructions on how to get to this point. So once you've gotten to this point, you're going to want to um, carefully take out, well, actually, we're removing them so you don't got to worry about fingerprints. Take out your screen. Um, sometimes it'll come out one piece. Sometimes if you just pull it, these little, these are the wires that conduct the signal to the LCD screen. They come off pretty easily. Um, if you can keep them on, it's easier to it's easiest to keep them on and not take them off but stuff happens when you're doing this so it's not a big deal if it comes off so we're gonna take off the filter on the front of this all you need is some kind of razor blade and the filter doesn't quite go all the way to the edge you could just pick up uh, it's hard to see. You want to keep this in the right orientation and not switch yourself. So um, just kind of keep it with the two little tabs on the right side. Don't mix them up. Well, you can't really put them in backwards, but it's just easier to keep everything together. So now you can see I'm just getting under the edge of that filter. Don't pry too hard because you don't want to crack the screen or anything. And then... Okay, see now the screen pretty much broke itself free, which it's not a big deal. They're not attached in any way. It's just contact. So, alright, let's get this face in the right way again. Put this off to the side. So we're starting from the bottom now. I mean, you could even use a little bit of a heat gun or something like that. This is glass and it's kind of sharp, so just be careful. Okay, so you've got your old filter off. Now, what you're going to do is just take a little bit of... I want to make sure there's no adhesive on it anywhere. If you do have adhesive, it doesn't hurt to take a little bit of a Goo Gone. The adhesive is really only where I put the razor blade under. The rest of it came off a little bit on this end too. So I'm not going to bore you with this. I'll probably fast forward this a little bit just till I get all this off. Okay, so that's all off. Now you don't want any residue of any sort left on the screen so just take a little bit of 90% isopropyl alcohol get it on it this is just a cheap microfiber from Harbor Freight and you want to clean
clean that up nicely. Be careful with this bottom part, that's the back of your LCD screen. I want to make sure there's nothing on there. No dust, no fingerprints, nothing like that. Okay, so now that that's perfectly clean, you're going to take a filter that you can get from me from the link in the description below. Um, I've gone ahead and got it set the right way. Each one is marked. There's a, a film on the front and the back. The back is sticky. The front is not. But there's a protective film over it. And each one's marked with an F and an arrow up. So you don't F up. Front facing up. Still have this facing up. You're going to go ahead and carefully peel the back film off. Just get it started and then it's a very low tack adhesive so don't touch it, don't drop it. Flip it over, make sure there's nothing on it. You want to take it and starting at one side, just push it across. And then get the top and the bottom, just like you're putting on like a vinyl decal on your car. And it doesn't need to be perfect that this part is your screen, this is overlap, the cluster covers up some of it, so it doesn't need to be perfectly centered. But once you've got that all in place, then you can go ahead, the hardest part of all this is probably getting the film off each side. Just get the corner up. There you go. And you can see it's noticeably darker. So we're going to go ahead and now you want to be careful about not touching the front. Um, get that in place. If you need to touch it, just you know, use the microfiber or something to not directly touch the screen. Keep this all the same way. Um, these little guys only fit in a certain way. So you gotta have them the way they were. And you wanna flip them. Keep that pinched. You could even just drop the filter into place first. And there's a little alignment tab, so you really can't mess this part up. There you go. So I've already done the other one. Let me just um, put this back on. And if you've gotten everything done correctly, when you put it back in the car, I need to actually, if you don't have all four screws in it, there's a chance that you're not going to be pressing down enough. See how it says total? I don't know if you can even see that. Um, let me swap out a couple more screws into here. Actually, I'll just, eh, I have them. Oh, 
let me take this one back out. I'm just missing the upper part of that last number, which is usually something not touching completely with those little uh, wire strips. So I'll just take this back out again. You want to make sure that they're protruding just a little bit so that they get a good contact with the board right there. So let's try it again. Try to kill these lights. Now you can see everything's working. The big thing is you just want to make sure you have a good contact with those little wires. They have to be uh, clean surface, touching firmly, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And then Go back to the other video on how you um, put it back together. Also, while you're in here, it's always a good idea to resolder these connectors. I did this one before. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description also. And yeah, that's it. Hope this helps you out. And uh, if you want to go check the link for where to buy the clusters and or the cluster. Reverse filters, the red filters, everything else, I'll put a link in the description, and thanks for watching.